but I saw the most recent statistics on uninsured drivers. Mm. And so there's two stats that stood out. A, nationwide, it's 13%. Oh, man. So think about it. As you're driving across this country, when you're going through states, 13% of drivers don't have Dang. automobile insurance. But I hope you're sitting down because the latest statistic is Mississippi is 29.4%. Oh. The most uninsured drivers in the country. That's terrible. I mean, that is fresh three out of yeah. every ten cars, oh, folks. Um, and it's probably the question, Richard, that you hear and Walker hears and I hear when we have conversations with clients who have taken their case and we determine that the at-fault party does not have insurance and they go, I don't want to use my insurance. Right. I wasn't at fault. I'll get dropped. Right. It'll make my rates go up. So how would you respond, and how have you responded, Richard, over the years to when you get hit with that question from a client of ours? Because they're like, I just want to sue the person who doesn't have insurance. Mm -hmm. you know. But yet we know they were yeah. smart enough to have UM coverage and aren't, aren't wanting to use it. Well, every part of your insurance policy you pay extra premium for, for instance, there's main, four main parts, liability, uninsured motorist, comprehensive, and med pay. Every one of those, if you choose to have it, you pay extra money for it. Uninsured motorist is what you will recover under for your injuries if the other person didn't have the insurance. It means that you're in an accident that was not your fault, mm -hmm. period, and there's no insurance on the other side. So if the insurance company is going to punish you for something that's not your fault, you really don't need that insurance company. Yeah. I've never seen it. Now, I'm not saying it's never happened, but I've never seen rates go up for an uninsured motorist claim. Now, if they do, insurance companies are so competitive right now that you could get a cheaper rate with somebody else. It's just the fact of the way they yeah. are, how competitive they are now. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it isn't like you shouldn't use it if your house burns down. You're going to use your homeowner's mm -hmm. insurance, and your rates probably could go up. Uh, but you got it, and for a reason. And so you pay premium for it. You pay a right to have it. You should be able to use it. That's a great point. Well said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that's exactly on exactly on, on point. And then one thing what people don't realize too is if you're making only a U uninsured motorist claim, which right. if you hear your lawyer, sometimes they'll call it a UM. You hear the term mm -hmm. UM. Well, that's a first-party relationship between you and your insurance company. So they actually have a higher burden, a higher right. standard that they have to follow of good faith and fair dealing versus if you were making a liability claim against the third party. So at that point, they have to in essence, treat you better. That's yeah. a, a simple way to say it, but really they should treat you better than the third-party insurance company is because you've been paying a premium for all the, for all those years. Um, but you hit the nail on the head. Well, you know, it's even... Yeah, go ahead. It's even crazier. People will call and say, look, I don't want to use my uninsured motors. My rates will go up. I say, who's paying for your property damage? Mm -hmm. My insurance company. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, you've already <laughs> made a point. claim. Yep. Claims so already just, there. If they're going to punish you, they're already going to do it. So you might as well get as much money as you possibly can. Right. Yeah. And yeah, they're you, going to go up anyway, right? They'll go. You know, I feel like rates are always going up. You know, regardless. So, you know, if you're going to really point to something and say it, it's just going to happen year on, you know, year after year. It's not just because you're making a claim on your UM. It's like, come on, like you said, you're paying for it. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. And and you hit the nail on the head, Richard. People don't realize there's UM property damage, right. and then there's UM bodily injury, which would be for your medical bills, for your lost wages, for your pain and suffering. So exactly, if you're getting your car fixed, you've already tapped into that UM there. well, so to speak, um, and so you've got a claim out there. But yeah, it's one we run in all the time, and, and unfortunately that 29.4% is an increase of 1.4% over the previous study. So it, it's going the wrong direction in the state of Mississippi, although we are a state that quote-unquote has laws on the books to punish people for not having insurance, which could be a fine of up to $1,000, can be the Jeez. suspension of your license right. until you provide proof of insurance. But clearly that's not 
you know, making a difference yeah. at, at this point in time in the something's got to change. Yeah, in I mean, the state. So three, you know, three out of ten. That's crazy. But the reality is, you could buy one month. You could buy a policy and mm-hmm. only pay one month, and you don't have insurance anymore. Yeah. But in that one month, you had insurance. Therefore, you proved you had insurance. Yeah. So it doesn't solve the problem. No. The real, the only solution right now in today's world is for you to have enough uninsured motors to cover yourself and your family. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then we could really bore people on the radio if we start talking about <laughs> yeah. stacking and who qualifies for being in a household. But but UM coverage, uninsured motorist coverage, is vitally important. Under the law, you got to have liability. Right. You know, you got to have the twenty five thousand slash fifty thousand policy. That's the only requirement in the state. But you absolutely, based on this statistic, want to make sure that you have uninsured motorist coverage because it is definitely going to be there to help you in a time of time of need 